weeks and get a look at the forecast. And Catherine, I heard you mention rain, which means yes. if we get a rainbow at the end of the rainbow, <laughs> Could we'll see that pot of gold? Exactly. Yeah, on this potentially. Day. Maybe. Hopefully, we're lucky enough yeah. to see that. <laughs> but we are looking like we are going to see a little bit of that green on the radar throughout the course of today. Best chance to have the rain showers looks to actually be in this morning. A little bit after that morning commute, we'll see them being a little bit more widespread. Now, as we're looking at our friends on the western portion of the United States, they're dealing with some snowfall, seeing some winter storm watches, winter weather advisories, and even winter storm warnings. The Sierra Nevadas could easily see upwards to 12 inches of snow. Know. A little bit closer to home, we are dealing with some flash flood watches and flood warnings. That's outside of our viewing area, but we do see a little bit of that trying to trickle into Kentucky. For us, we're mainly just going to deal with some light rainfall throughout the course of today. As we're looking at the system, this one that's gliding through Kentucky right now is going to head our way. As we head more into the morning, becoming more scattered throughout the course of today. We do notice a little bit of some heavier downpours are embedded with this system. Could see a heavier downpour or two, especially throughout the morning. Most of us, though, look to keep things more lighter in nature. Here's a look right now at our live radar closer to home. We are seeing a little bit more of the cloud cover than the rain showers, but we will have those rain showers catch up to us mainly this morning around 9 to 10 o'clock is the best time. Temperatures right now pretty mild over the area. Most of us are sitting into the 40s. A few spots such as Marlington are into the 30s for us. Check out Grundy, the warmest on this map that we have showing at 50 degrees. As we continue into today, we are going to be seeing those highs for most of the area heading into the 50s. Most of us will be right back to average. Best chance to have rain showers. Once again, 60% chance for us throughout this morning. By the evening, we will start to see a little bit of drier air come back into place. That's going to allow us to have these rain showers taper out of the area. Our high temperatures are going to continue to rise up today. We're average, but by tomorrow, most of us hitting into the 60s. By Thursday, check this out, about almost 20 degrees warmer than what we should be. Most of us will have those high temperatures heading into the 70s, still keeping up with this warmer than average trend for Friday. By the weekend, this isn't too cold. We're having forecast highs in the upper 40s, lower 50s. It's going to feel cold though, going from the 70s all the way down to the 40s by Saturday. So here's a look at Futurecast just to show. This is looking at about 9 a.m. We start to see the best chance for showers come into the area for most of the area, becoming a little widespread. Then they had to scatter by the later afternoon for us. Overnight tonight should be mostly dry. Can't completely rule out a spotty shower, but most of us really just dealing with the cloud cover. Tomorrow morning we'll wake up with temperatures in the 40s and the upper 30s. Partly cloudy, mostly cloudy skies for us. Mostly dry throughout Wednesday. Can't completely rule out a spotty shower or two. That's going to pop into the area for us Wednesday afternoon. Best time though to have widespread showers, even a thunderstorm potentially pop up in the area with, is going to be Wednesday night and into Thursday. The rainfall totals throughout Wednesday aren't looking impressive, should be just dealing with mostly light rainfall, but Wednesday night and into Saturday we will have some higher totals come into the area. So looking at the extended forecast, we really hold on to the chance for us seeing these for us seeing the chance for rain showers. Looking at the first day of spring, we'll have those temperatures in the 70s. Cool down comes for us in the weekend.